All right, so basically, I uh, had an issue with my motherboard with only having two available USB 2.0 headers and having four devices to plug in. I was able to find this beautiful little contraption from NZXT. I'll leave a link to this down in the description. And essentially what this is doing is connecting this piece to one USB 2.0 header. Uh, it'll, it gives you three additional USB 2.0 headers and then two in-case USB ports for things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongles. So uh, the whole thing is Molex powered and all the cables are included. It comes with this Velcro on the bottom and a strip of Velcro tape also included with uh, 3M adhesive so that you can position it wherever it makes the most sense inside your case. Um, this will allow me to run my Corsair H100i GTX my NZXT Hue Plus and my two USB 2.0 headers from the front of the case. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, so here we go. Got it all installed. Trying to record installing it would have been nearly impossible. Uh, as you can see, I Velcroed it to the bottom of my case and I have all the headers plugged into it. And then you can see here the header cable that was included with the unit is plugged into the header on the motherboard. Uh, as you can see right here, Molex power, and this is only to make sure that all those USB ports and headers have the proper amount of power, and it's plugged in back there with that little two pin connection. Uh, so this makes the most sense to me uh, to get my Corsair link, connectivity, uh, my NZXT Hue Plus, and then the two USB ports out there on the front of the case connected because I can hide it down here underneath my uh, PSU shroud and it, it just you know nobody's ever gonna see it nobody's ever even gonna know but I will be able to have all of this stuff connected at once even though my motherboard only has two USB 2.0 headers pretty nifty so let's get this case closed up and test this thing out and see if it actually works stay tuned all right, so everything's closed up. Let's test this thing out. Plugging in a, an Xbox 360 controller into the front USB 2.0 port. And it powers on and connects. You can see here by the green light that it is connected and everything looks good. Now on to the PC itself. Opened up NZXT's CAM software to control the Hue Plus. So let's just go in here and apply uh, some changes to the LEDs. So I'm just going to select a spectrum wave effect and save changes. And what do you know, it worked. It's communicating. Yay. All right, so last but not least, let's check the one last thing I connected to this device. That is the Corsair Link to see if it recognizes the pump. If the Corsair Link cable is not plugged in, the pump will not show up. And lo and behold, the pump is recognized and it shows its current RPMs and we can actually um, apply a different profile and change the RPMs. We can change the LED now, so let's change it to red. So right now it's white, click save, and it's red. So the Corsair H100i GTX is communicating with Corsair Link through the NZXT thing. Let's change it to blue, see if that sticks, apply, and we have blue. Wonderful. So just based on that, big thumbs up. I would recommend this product to anybody that has more than one thing to plug into a USB header or two things and they only have two available headers. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Consider becoming a Patre uh, Patreon patron. Uh, share this video. Thumbs up help more than anything else. And I'll see you in the next video. Sworn Leader signing out. Peace.